Apple Watch just got support for monitoring your blood sugar, but it doesn't come from Apple. Let's talk about it. Here's what's newly available and when Apple may officially participate. It's been long rumored that the Cupertino based company would be adding native, non invasive blood glucose monitoring to Apple Watch. But this tech is incredibly tough to crack. Many other companies have been working on this for longer than Apple has. Let's first talk about the current state of glucose tracking and who it benefits. Coming from someone who wears a glucose monitor every single day. I am curious, by the way, how many of you out there are interested in glucose tracking? Sound off down below in the comments. There are two distinct types of glucose monitoring, invasive and non-invasive. Invasive is when a sensor gets implanted under the skin. It's more reliable, but out of the realm of possibility for a mass market wearable like the Apple Watch. Apple has been primarily focused on the latter or the non-invasive variety. It's able to report your blood sugar levels without ever having to break the skin. When it comes to the non-invasive flavor of glucose monitors, there are two prevailing methodologies. One of them measures your levels via your breath, while the other uses light. The second one, Raman spectroscopy, is something that Apple could potentially build into a future wearable. It would fit in nicely with its sensor array already on the back of the watch for heart rate, SpO2, and movement. But even the latest technology to do this is far too chunky for a wrist-worn computer. So if these technologies are so far away, what's available now? Why am I making this video about some new glucose tracking? Let me show you the updated Dexcom G7. The G7 is a continuous glucose monitor that sends data to your iPhone via Bluetooth. You could always use it with the Apple Watch before, but it wasn't always reliable. Data was first sent to your iPhone before being sent to the watch. Let me tell you, this had multiple points of failure to worry about. Often, if my sensor was mounted on my arm, my phone wouldn't be able to connect. Turns out our water-based bodies aren't great for allowing Bluetooth signals of any kind to pass through. So if my iPhone was in the lower left pocket and my sensor was on my right arm, it just didn't connect. Plus, if you ever left your iPhone anywhere, like for a workout or a run, all of a sudden you had no more readings. Not anymore. Dexcom just updated the G7 to enable direct to watch connection. It will connect to your Apple Watch, iPhone, and optionally an insulin pump all at the same time. Your watch though will only use your iPhone data as a fallback when direct connectivity is lost. In my testing so far, it's been absolutely incredible and it works far more reliably. Your watch is perfectly positioned, usually away from your body, so it's able to maintain that Bluetooth connection. It's a game changer and the first direct to Apple Watch CGM integration. All the info syncs directly to the health app and you can even access it via Siri. The Dexcom CGM is primarily used by type 1 diabetics and more frequently type 2 diabetics but not the masses. That's where Apple wants to play. I do expect that Apple will add its own sensor to the Apple Watch in the future. If you want to learn more about the next Apple Watch, by the way, check out the video I did. I've linked it here and I go into a whole deep dive on those latest rumors. My guess is that Apple's implementation of glucose monitoring will be a lot like what they've done with blood pressure. You will eventually be able to detect trends in your glucose levels rather than precise measurements used for administering medication. Plus, this could allow Apple to largely sidestep the FDA. It wouldn't be a true medical device. You could perhaps see a trend line and you would get maybe an alert letting you know that you're potentially pre-diabetic. Evidence says Apple is hard at work on this feature. Recently, Tim Millett has taken over the working group that currently has a sensor in the proof of concept stage similar to the rest of the industry. Now comes the unenvious task of shrinking that tech down to fit on your wrist. It will likely be at least a year or more before we see this debut. But in the meantime, those who are in dire need of it finally 
have a direct to watch glucose monitor available. So what do you guys think of the advancements in CGMs? Let me know if you'd like to see this built into your future Apple Watch down below in the comments. Otherwise, be sure you're subscribed to the channel with those notifications turned on so you don't miss my latest videos and Apple news.